folks, salt pans are special formations that can vary extremely in their properties and the possibility to eliminate the adverse effects on land use and management also varies according to their characteristics. And uh, to know which which is which, we gave them different names, such as uh, plow pan, ply pan, dempsey pan, hard pan, fragile pan, iron pan, ferrocrit, calcrit, etc., etc., etc. If unattended, they can have devastating effects on your crops and income because they can severely restrict vertical movement of water, roots, uh, microorganisms, gas exchanges, heat transfer, and so on. Pans are produced by different mechanisms over different periods, but they will not disappear by themselves unless we do something to get rid of them. And uh, what should we do? Well, I suggest don't spend any money before then you dig salt pits and find out what's hiding below your feet. And why is that? Because salt pits don't lie. They will tell you on the spot if your land, your soils have one or more of those nasty layers. And importantly, where they are. If they do, what kind of layers? How thick, how deep, how nasty are such layers? Can they be altered or eliminated with the current technology? And if they can, how long it will take to do it? How much it will cost? What will be the outcome? of the alteration and importantly will such layers reoccur in time that's what soil pits will tell you on the spot soil pits can help you to make right choices and right treatments for the right soils because wrong treatments can make soils worse than they were before treatments now I have a question for you. Did you ever dig a soil pit to see what's below your feet?